You sat around and you played like you cared about grandmother dying of cancer and all of that. But then you went back and ate the same foods that gave her cancer. You, you played like you, you, was, you were so emotional about your mother dying of diabetes, a heart attack, a stroke. But you went back and ate the same foods that killed your mother. And this is why I say we are in a pandemic and we are fucked up people. It's time to re-strategize. It's time to sit down. It's time to get to ourselves and do some soul searching. So I had a conversation with someone who says that, well, milk is healthy. It's good for the bones. Incorrect. Don't you know that milk that we get from cow has a hormone in it that consists of information? So if the, when the cow, the baby cow, take it in, it tells its genes to tell the body to grow to a certain weight. So what you taking in, these hormones from this cow milk, your genes is not even recognizing the enzymes because it don't supposed to be there. So now it's telling your body to grow like a cow. I'm not talking about literal cow. I'm talking about the weight and the size. If we only knew the physical body, a lot of us walking around putting stuff in our body and don't even know that our body's connected to things that is unseen, right? And that it is affecting certain things beyond what we see with our physical eyes. Don't you know that what you eat physically can affect where you go spiritually after death? To those that's looking at this video who think that sounds crazy, the reason why I sound crazy is because you have never done research on the anatomy. The anatomy is more spiritual than physical. To so all you medical students and so-called doctors who got high blood pressure and diabetes, telling your clients and your patients, right, who got high blood pressure and diabetes, the blind leading the blind, right? Don't you know that your anatomy, right, that when the moon have a certain cycle, that your cells start to move different? Don't you know that your blood start to vibrate at a different frequency? So when you put food in your body and that artificial sunlight is hitting your body, you're going to burn. So now you, now you need sunblock. But you, melanated being, you didn't need it back in the 70s, in the 60s. Because those entities that run governments on this earth gives orders every 10 years to tamper with certain stars, to tamper with certain celestial bodies above our head and inside of the earth. We think that it's only stars in the sky. It's stars and the celestial bodies in the earth. That is more detrimental and more important than the ones that you see in the sky. There are portals in the Atlantic Ocean that leads to things in the sky, that will take you to things in the sky. And this is not anything that was created by a military. It was created by a group of entities. You, you may say Africans, but yeah, they was in that diaspora at that time. And they could be the ones that built the pyramids. But these entities... And I ain't talking about no green monster, so get it out your head. I'm talking about a, a group of entities that were so black that they were purple. And they knew how to get to the sky from the water. Just like there are entities here that know how to get to other realms and dimensions through dreams. This is why some of y'all who come back from your dreams and you can't remember your dream, this is because something piggybacked off of your travel from your physical body. So your heart beating, right? But it's beating at a, a different pace than it was the night before because something, because the night before you remember your dream, the night after you didn't because there are things here that's trapped in this third dimension that can't go into any other dimension, but they can peek over into it by using you and your travel when you go into the gate of sleep. R-E-M. Look it up, R-E-M. Once you get to the state of REM, they can use you, like they use telescopes, they can use you as a third party to peek into your dreams, capture your memories, take it away from you so that when you wake up, you will have no memory of where you've been. And it's deeper than being in a sunken place. You're still here, but somebody is using you as a third party to peek into your dream state. 
And everything I just now said, you might say what they got to do with health. It has a lot to do with health. Because what we eat, the foods that we eat, right, that come from a root, has electricity in it. And that root is connected to the organism, which we call the earth. The organism, the earth is conscious. <clears throat> and so every so often, the stars, or even when the planet is going to retrograde, it throws out a mist into the earth. And this mist travels into the roots, into the foods. And once we eat it, and I ain't talking about cooking it, because once you cook it, right, you restructure the information inside of that, that food, that vegetable, that fruit. Right? Even tree hugging, you can get it from that. Free energy. So that mist that falls in every so often, which is information, right? When you take that upon death, what it does is it flashes before your eyes. When people say that they see their life flash before their eyes. No, this is not your life. This is the information that you've been putting into your body. Imagine a DVD player. Imagine the DVD being a food. Every time you feed the DVD player, some ignorant, right? It's going to show it on the screen. That's all you will see flashing before the eyes of the television. So when you leave the physical body or at the gate of death to go into your next life, what happens is it tallies up the intelligence that you put in your body, which we call nutrition. Nutrition is really intelligence. So if you're taking in bad nutrition, then you are taking in ignorance and it's going to keep you here. You're not going to be able to go into a body that is efficient for you to be able to connect to the intelligence that you could have put into your body, but you didn't. You ate for taste. You didn't eat for health. You sat around and you played like you cared about grandmother dying of cancer and all of that. But then you went back and ate the same foods that gave her cancer. You, you played like you, you, was, you were so emotional about your mother dying of diabetes, a heart attack, a stroke. But you went back and ate the same foods that killed your mother. And this is why I say we are in a pandemic and we are fucked up people. It's time to re-strategize. It's time to sit down. It's time to get to ourselves and do some soul searching. Because the war is going to be through the foods, the water, and not only that, but through imagination. If you can't create an imagination that could take you somewhere beyond here, even while you're here, then you won't be able to open up a safe place when things start to come in to attack you mentally. And for those who know, you know. Black Science TV 111, Osaka 4, I'm out. Peace.